What's up guys? Welcome back to the back nine at Renaissance Gold. Um, we're four down right now, which is freaking crazy, man. It's crazy. Like, I feel like I'm playing really, really well. Um, playing smart golf too. Um, four down is pretty solid. We're jumping into the back nine here. We're gonna see if we can hold on to that four nine, maybe even get down to like six or something. I just gotta be careful of the bogeys, gotta play smart. Um, I'm gonna throw my sword here off of this hole. I'm gonna try and go right over top of that rock um, and have it hopefully push straight uh, and, and end up on the left side so that I can have a look at a birdie here. I don't know if I've ever birdied this hole from this position. Yeah, that's a beauty, just don't go too deep. Yes! All right, we might have a look, y'all. All right, so there isn't much of a look from here, y'all, um, for a birdie, so there's no need to really go for it. I'm just gonna throw my felon, try and get up there on the hill. You guys won't be able to see this and just give myself a, an easy look for par. Sit down. Yeah, we should be able to get par from there. All right, so I'm kind of cut off here. I don't really like the backhand line, so I'm going with a, a bounty sidearm to try and get up the hill. Uh, that might give us a 20 footer. That wasn't the best shot. All right, let's see if we can put this in. Save a par on this hole, which is actually pretty difficult to get a birdie on. <sighs> Cut my finger on some thorns earlier. <sighs> nice putt. This is like the distance where I feel like it's so easy, like 15 to 20 feet. It's so easy to come up short. So I'm happy with that. Saving that par there is good. All right, so 1,042 feet here. I'm gonna take my sapphire and just try and rip this thing out there. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Come on. All right, so I think I actually want to try a roller here. Um, I'm gonna do it with my stag and see if I can turn it over enough i'm not too good with rollers um but this is like a really really good field for it so even though i mess up we should still be fine all right so see if we can lay down a good roller here <clears throat> stand up nope ah uh, needed a more understable disc all right, so I don't really have a line at the basket here. So I'm gonna throw my diamond up in the air on a huge hyzer, just to see if we can push it all the way down to the basket. I mean, that might've given us a look. Okay, so honestly, from back there, I'm happy with this. This is pretty good. Um, gonna get a nice little soft throw in here get up a little all right that's about a 20 footer all right gotta take all putts seriously especially ones from this distance find my spot Yep. So that's a good uh, par save there. I guess it wasn't really a save. I guess that's just a good par there. Throwing the roller wasn't the best plan, um, but I'm happy with par. All right, throwing the sapphire here. This is another hole where you can really let it loose. It's a par four, um, 617. So you can bite off. 350 to 400, you're in a good spot. Oh no, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Sure. Huh? Okay, so I ended up making it through this tree, thankfully, because we hit it up high where it was a little bit less bushy. From here, the basket is, looks like it is about 330. Um, so 
I could probably throw my bounty that far. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw my bounty. Um, man, I guess I could throw a sidearm too, but I don't know. I'm gonna try the bounty here. We'll see if we can make it work. My aim point was way off. So my aim point for the bounty was just a little bit off. Um, or at least my release point was. I was aiming at the trees and it flew exactly like I wanted it to. I just released it a little bit too far right. This is for birdie. Well, we know we got it in us. That'll be a par. So my aim was just a little bit off there, so I gave my uh, putter just a little bit too much hyzer. Um, and so it didn't hold it straight, but it was the exact same putt. Like literally the exact same putt, one just had a little less hyzer. All right, a little bit of a headwind here, so I'm gonna go with the rive. Um, try and release it flat. The goal is to get past those three trees up there on the left side. <sighs> fight through them, fight through them. Yeah, that's solid. Okay, so it still feels like a little bit of a headwind, but maybe not. Um, I'm gonna take my grace here and throw it on the slightest bit of hyzer if even yeah i don't really feel it back here as much so i'm actually going to throw this flat and just try and push it as far as we can get out of it get out of it get out of it all right that might be a tough approach from there but this is a par five so might not be too bad all right so i'm gonna throw a little little bit of a flex shot here with the felon What's up? Yeah, how you doing, bud? Oh, guys, this freaking sucks, man. All right, guys. Throw in the uh, Emac Truth here, little Anheuser. See if we can get it out close towards the basket. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> All right, so we went a little bit past the basket. Y'all, I'm not even kidding, y'all. I have been trying to get that disc down for 30 minutes and I'm actually freaking exhausted. This was a pretty good shot from back there. Now I just have to clutch up and finish this. A short. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was what it was, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, I'm fine with the par there. Still four down, dude. Let's ring go. All right, so on this one, um, you kind of want to end up on the right side over there, down the fairway. Um, I'm going to throw my sapphire and just try and, try and lace it, maybe give it a, a, a little itty-bitty hyzer. I'm so hot and sweaty right now, y'all, that my hands are like super sticky. Man, that headwind's gonna make this even more understable though. But it doesn't look like the headwind's out there. It, looks, it feels like it's coming through here. Um, we'll still see if this will work. Yeah, dude, push, 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 push. <laughs> you can't get much better than that on this hole, my goodness. All right, so we're gonna do an easy little sidearm here with the uh, Emac Truth. See if we can filter it down there into a good spot. Oh, uh, go in. Ah, that was super close. All right, so this disc was on like really good track for the basket. Now, I don't know what I got on my face, if it's like something from those leaves, but my face is starting to sting. I don't appreciate it. Let me make this putt real quick.
Get up. Ah. Well, once again, we know we got it in us. Uh, my, my distance just wasn't dialed in enough. And honestly, I was thinking about how my face stings. But that is still a par for us there. All right, so during the tournament, I piped this one, man. Like, it's 378, threw my felon flat. It is downhill into a wooded gap. Um, but during the tournament, I got a two on this. I landed about, honestly, probably two feet away from it. It was parked. I was able to just drop it in. Um, so my goal here is to release the felon flat, so no hyzer, about right at that bridge. I uh, got a right to left wind, which um, I'm not worried about. The tailwind does stable it up a little bit. Um, and if I'm releasing it flat, then I shouldn't have to worry too much about that. So that's the goal here. Let's release it flat and pump it. Yeah, skip in there. If that got a skip, we're within 10 feet. Let's go. Come on. Big putt. All right, so last time on this hole, I threw the sapphire on a hyzer. Um, and it pushed, but it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to try the stag now. And we're going to see if we can give it enough hyzer that it still flips up around the corner, but that it pushes straight once it does get around the corner. Push left. Okay, no big sounds. That should be good. Okay, so this is pretty much a death putt. Um, but we're five down right now. And I'm feeling pretty good. So I think I'm going to go for this. Oh, I hope it sat down because we could have just done this and gotten a par. Man. I'm just happy that we sat down there. All right, so from this tee pad right here, um, I want to throw almost the same hole that I threw two holes ago. Well, I want to throw almost the same throw I threw two holes ago with the felon. But since it's not going downhill, it's not going to push as far straight. So I want to release this flat and just allow it to uh, end up right at the end of its flight. Yeah, that's money. Skip on up there. Oh, oh, that might have actually been a little bit short. I didn't give it that much. So I thought it was short, but I was actually perfect. Um, it skipped right up the path here and got me into an amazing place. Uh, got to go backhand here. Probably going to throw the bounty. Could throw a putter, but I'm just not feeling that. I think I'm going to go bounty. Just push up a little bit. Slow down. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's putting. That's a birdie look right there. All right. A little bit of wind here, actually. But we should have this. Yeah, let's go. I haven't birdied that one in a while. I like it. I like it. Thank you for the, thank you for the flight bounty. All right, so this hole, I want to try and get it as far as I can. Um, so I'm going to grab my captain here and see what type of distance we can get here. Check the wind up here, left to right. Okay. So if I expose the flight plate, then it's going to push it even more. So I'm going to try and throw this as flat as I can, maybe even give it a little bit of Anheuser and just pump it out there. Yeah, full flat out of that thing. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so from here, I want to simply throw a putter 
um, up onto that left wall of brush. So I got my judge here. You know, even though that's not on the wall of brush, that's good. It's right next to the fence. And then we got a sidearm to the green from there for a look at birdie. All right, so it's only about 300 to the pin from here, maybe a little less. Take my felon, throw it flat at hole two's basket, and just let the disc do the work. Oh, Michael. That literally might be lost. Like that, I'm, I, I honestly might not get that back. All right, guys, so there's no place to put the camera down here. So I'll put you guys up by the basket. I'm honestly not even sure if you'll be able to hear me all the way. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is a All right, um, I literally can't even ask it. This is all just gonna be luck. <sighs> Hopefully that made the ground. You guys know way before I do. All I know is there's a lot of grass in the way and I am sinking in mud. There's gotta be like, no question, six foot snakes down here. <laughs> And I did not want to be down there for that long. Let's see where we threw that bad boy. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm exhausted, too. I got to see what this... I got to see what this gives us. Um, saving the par there. I'm about to crush so much freaking water, man. You, hey, listen. Prepare yourselves. Bring out two Nalgene's or whatever you drink water out of because my one full Nalgene, I was done with by like whole 10. I'm exhausted. Yo, we ended up six down, which is freaking ridiculous out here. Normally you guys see me being excited with even or like one down, um, but six down is huge. So, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. Six down is massive. Hope you guys enjoyed today's coverage. Somebody look up, tell me what that rating is down in the comments. What is six down out here on Renaissance Gold? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. See you on the next one.